Hello darlings, this is Annette of AnnetteLeonard.com, back with another moment for chronic wellness. Continuing to talk today about guilt and how to manage it and um, sort of putting some of those pieces together. We have talked about the ways in which guilt is uh, a cousin of shame and how it doesn't like to be surfaced and ways to be with the guilt and ways to purge the guilt <laughs> and um, how this is another opportunity to practice self-compassion. And uh, today for the last video in this series, I'm going to go back to something that I um, hit lots of times in these videos, which is what brings you true comfort. So this is another opportunity to go to the closet, go to the drawer, go to the notebook, go to the cupboard, <laughs> go to wherever you have put this list or this visual or... Um, this collage because I've asked you to make it and if you haven't made it yet you're missing out you're missing a really um, wonderful opportunity to care for yourself and there's no time like now to um, make this happen which is make the list get the pictures put together the collage of what feeds your soul, what brings you comfort, when you need to brighten yourself, your day, your spirit, when you need true soul food, what does that? What, um, what nourishes you in a deep way? And, um, and when you are feeling laid low, laid bare, <laughs> when your heart has been filleted by, um, by the guilt that will come, turn to this. Go find comfort um, from things that will feed you or people or, or activities that are within reach, whether it's that playlist or that person you can call, or uh, getting out your watercolors, or your knitting, or spending some time in nature. Find, make <laughs> 15, 30 minutes more. If your body has it, more of your calendar will allow it um, to do something that really satisfies you. Self-care as an antidote to guilt, as well as so many of these other um, things that wear away at us in the face of chronic illness. I want to hear about your comfort list. What's on it? Uh, I'll take a picture of mine and post it on social media uh, so you can see some of the constellation of things that that are lighting me up right now and you know it makes sense to redo them every year or more often probably so send me yours I'd love to see Thank you for sharing your time and energy with me. And these are just a few ideas about how we can beat back the deleterious effects, the, 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 the harmful ways in which we injure ourselves with guilt. And I would love for your ideas, for your input, for your... Um, best tools in your toolbox about how you care for yourself in the face of guilt. So tell us so we can benefit too, please. 
Thanks so much for being here. I'm really grateful for sharing a bit of this journey with you. And until we meet again, we cannot control a lot. There's so much that is outside of our control, but uh, there are big parts of our spirit and our soul that are in our hands. So remember that whether or not we are healthy, we can be well. Thank you. See you again soon.